Hi, I'm Sue Blackmore, National Director for Hand Therapy for Select Medical's Outpatient Division. In the upcoming weeks, you'll be participating in some fun fall activities, and one of them will be including pumpkin carving. We want to make sure that you'll be safe and not cause injuries, and so we'll be reviewing some techniques and tools to help you with this process. So to start with, you want to make sure that the pumpkin itself is dry, your hands are dry, and that the surface that you're working on is firm and sturdy. When cutting with a knife, you want to make sure that the knife is short. A longer and sharper knife is not necessarily better. So when you are using a knife, you also want to make sure that you don't put your supporting hand on the opposite side. Go ahead and try that. If you put your supporting hand on the opposite side, when you're pushing through the flesh, you could potentially slip with a knife and cut your opposite hand. Particularly if you've already taken out the pulp of the pumpkin and your hand is on the inside of the pumpkin when you're cutting. It's also best not to scoop the inside of the pulp out before you carve the design on the pumpkin. If you scoop the pulp out, you'll be tempted to put your hand on the inside of the pumpkin as you're creating your design, and that potentially can cause a laceration of your supporting hand. And even better than a knife, there's a variety of different pumpkin tools that are available. These tools are not sharp, so they won't cut your skin. Even if you press too far, they probably won't lacerate your hand. So it's a much safer alternative to any knife. If you have any questions, please contact your Select Medical Outpatient Center near you.